one question with her mm -hmm. so you have i mean let's take the whatever the inner square within the circle so it's just like one block mm -hmm. so outer outer to that particular square is just like a outer to the that particular module right how do you can define that delay i mean what parameter we have to consider when you are defining the output delay over there we don't so, know how i mean how much yeah. capacity is going to add in between two two modules yeah yeah so you are right it's not actual so what happens i'll tell you in a real scenario what happens okay so uh, there are in real scenario what happens is, let's say you're building an ip right so you what you will do is uh, just give it you will just give some margin okay so typically what you'll say okay 25% let's say my this is my block and this is what i am going to ship i i as an ip either within my company or outside the company what you will typically do is okay you'll say okay 75% of the margin i'll keep for inside and 25% i will give to outside so that is a, a rule of thumb it can be 30 70 40 60 but usually companies follow a rule of thumb and that is what is uh, done now what happens is when you will close you will close this timing and give it to the top level okay now depending upon how you are giving it okay let's say this goes as a hard ip okay let's let's say if this goes as a hard ip nothing can be changed then the top level person has to meet timing with the 25% of the clock and he has to manage with the clock skew and everything okay now other option can be this goes as a soft ip so you may have ability to change say modify and change chain time soft ip or a firm ip soft ip means you give rtl and firm ip means you give rtl then you have ability to modify also so then at the top level you do a retiming either flat but you know most of the times are internally are met but as an anyway you have to do retiming then this will be adjusted so it's kind of a rule of thumb which is followed then exact delay values now another thing which is done uh, let me uh, let's say you have a very very big chip okay now these days like commercial tools like prime time and even tempers kenan schools what you can do is you can tell the tool i am running at this level but this is too big for me so i am going to close timing of this lower level block separately can you based upon whatever the logic here can you generate a constraint file for me for this block given whatever the logic is present and then that tool will automatically define input and output delay based upon the logic present so these are the three things which are generally followed in the industry yeah yeah there was a question right okay yeah thank you thank you question yeah so but basically the basic thing is when you are developing an ip it's a rule of thumb which you follow 70 30 60 30 40 each company has slightly different rule but more or less it's like some percentage of the block period you will define as input delay or output Now it just I mean roll up from seventy five twenty percent or I mean how much load we are going to handle over there based on that I mean it has some no no so these are like very initial uh, so no one goes into that much accuracy because anyway uh, whatever you define right you're just defining enough margin whatever you define at top level you have to time again right full chips SK you have to do right so it doesn't matter. because at when you are doing this maybe clocks are not their clocks are not propagated all those things are there right so it's anyway not going to be accurate so you don't go to like that level of detail to sign off st at a lower level okay thanks